All right, let's turn our attention to the issue of Christian persecution around the world. There was an Easter Day bombing in Pakistan that killed 70 people. For more on now, for more on this now, let's bring in Father Thomas Petrie. Father Thomas, it's great to see you as always. Happy Easter Monday to you, John. Sorry, it's under. Sorry, we're talking under these circumstances, though. Yes, this issue and also the uh, possible. Uh, crucifixion of this uh, priest as well. We'll talk about that in a second, but I want to look specifically first at this bombing in Pakistan. Father, the Pope is now demanding protection for Christian minorities around the world. Is that going to do anything to change the difficulties and the threats that Christians are facing around the world? Well, if it does anything, hopefully it will wake up leaders in the West to understand that there's a genocide going on in the Middle East, that Christians are being killed and martyred in record numbers uh, in the Middle East. And we need the West, thanks, thanks be to God, that the Barack Obama administration, Senator, or Secretary John Kerry, recently used the word genocide to describe this violence. Yeah, it would be nice if uh, they used that term with some weight behind it. It's one thing to throw it out there and classify it as genocide, but what are they going to do now, now that it is genocide and there's at least the admission to what's actually going on? These Christians in Pakistan, they were specifically targeted for worshiping on Easter Sunday, uh, and there were 70 people killed. This is twice as many as have been killed in this Belgian attack. Um, is there, you know, do, do people really understand what Christians are facing? You know, we hear a lot about Belgium, not quite as much about Pakistan. That's to be expected. But 70 people kill. No, I don't think a lot of Christians in the West are paying attention to this. We need to understand that Christians are dying in other parts of the world where there really is no religious freedom. Christians make up less than 2% of the population in Pakistan. Less than 2%. And there are those in Pakistan who don't want them there and who obviously are willing to kill them because they believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a, a real concern, you know, in the, the, the bravery of these folks for, for worshiping uh, when they are clearly in the minority. You, you got you to gotta give it to them. I also want to talk about this Catholic priest who may or may not have been crucified on Good Friday, Father Tom Uzhanali. Uz, uh, uh, excuse me, a difficult name to pronounce. Tom Uzhanilil. I think that's how you pronounce it. He's an Indian priest. Uh, there are conflicting reports. What are you hearing about this priest, Father? Well, he was, one of the, he was the priest that was kidnapped when the Missionaries of Charity compound was um, attacked and the Missionaries of Charity were killed some uh, weeks ago. He was kidnapped and we know that many in ISIS are willing to make examples on days like Good Friday and Easter Sunday. We haven't yet had any confirmation that he has been in fact martyred or murdered. Um, we're still waiting to hear. He's a Salesian priest and we're waiting to hear from the Salesian who have contacted the embassy to see if he has, in fact, if they have any information about his state. Well, we said a prayer for him yesterday in Mass, and we'll continue to send those prayers and hope for the best. Father Petrie, stick around. Uh, we're going to talk about someone who we lost recently, Mother Mary Angelica, who is a very popular figure in the Catholic Church in some circles and in TV. I want to try to honor her memory in just a few moments. We'll look forward to that. Father Petrie, thanks for joining us for the time being. Thank you.